Today is a special day. I have over Sandrine from Studio Artisan from Falmouth, Maine. She's the one that introduced me to woodworking and I've been addicted ever since. Hi, Sandrine. Hi, how are you? It's Great, pleasure. thank you. She came to check on me to see how I'm doing and how my woodworking journey is going. And together today we made these cute little reindeers. So that's what we are going to show you how to make. Yes. Check out Sandrine's. She has like two colored legs. I'm so happy I learned from my students. She's <laughs> yes. doing better than me. No, no, I'm no, learning from her now. <laughs> All right, let's get right into it and see how this is done. For the little reindeer we'll be doing today, I got these patterns from a YouTube channel and it's called Workshop Companion. The patterns look something like this. And we will be using their pattern that I purchased. I did not make this pattern, so I'm not trying to claim that this is my pattern or I made up this thing. I purchased it from someone and we'll just make these reindeers because they're so darn cute. So we'll start with the pattern. For the pattern, as you can see, it comes with all the instructions, how to glue your blank, what size to be and all that. I'll be doing this fancy one that I made it so the reindeer has a red nose and a darker feet and antlers. And Sandrine, well, she's going to have a plain blank because I didn't know she was coming. And, you know, that's all she gets for today. Thank you for having me. <laughs> of course. The patterns look something like this. We will be gluing the wider blank onto the wider side of our blank. And then the thin one, we'll cut it out and put it on the side. Now, we already did this off camera, so this should be really quick and easy. And we'll be using some spray adhesive i'll leave a link in the description below if you want to buy the same one and this is how we're gonna put our templates on the wood pieces okay, and this one you put it on the back or on the front i did it on the front i don't know if it makes a difference or not but Let's that's see, the way sorry. i do it. oh yeah that's it yeah because the nose should be there. Okay. our patterns are glued to the planks and now we'll be using for the between the antlers over here where the circle is we will be using one inch forstner bit to make a hole because that will be so much easier than trying to get in there with the bensa. You could also use a, a larger for snare bit for the, between the legs, but for this one, we'll just cut it on the bensa so I don't have to change bits. Now at the band saw, I'm gonna cut the narrow side first and then I'll tape it all back together and cut the wide side. So that's what we'll be doing now. So what we're doing here, we're taping it all back together. That way we have some good support when we run it again towards the on the bandsaw to cut this side. I like to use a clear packing tape just because that way you can still see the pattern. So this way? Mm -hmm. Is that the best way? You know, I'm excited with the laser. You can cut patterns and that way you don't have to keep printing this. And you just have the pattern and you draw around it with the right. marker. So when we cut this with the, the bandsaw, we just need to make sure we cut them in once time, not like making a puzzle, because right. that would be hard to, to put back together, I would say, right? Yep. Okay. Let's uh, open it up, see if we have a reindeer. <laughs> Hopefully we, we have a reindeer. <laughs> Maybe we have an elephant. Let's see. This tape wants to stick to me. 
Yeah, yeah glue. Glue. I super glued my fingers the other day. Mm. I was so careful when I was using it and then I didn't realize it was dripping on the bottle and I had it on the bench. And I was like, oh, I should put it away. I grabbed it full of and glue. I was like full of glue. It annoyed me for days. Yeah. She looks like a reindeer. Now we have to do some sanding. It's looking very rough, my dear. Yours looks a little bit smoother. I kind of went abrupt in there. Well, you're a different wood too, right? Like yeah. a different level. But, my, my but that's okay. Now we'll do some sanding. Oh, actually, you know, shake see. it all up. All right. You know what I like to use for sanding this? No. I like to use my Dremel. Oh. Um, if you guys are interested, I'll put my Dremel into the link below. I use this Dremel 4000. And you must get this attachment because this is a heavy Dremel. It's so hard to have good control over it. But you get this attachment the plugs into the dremel and then you can use all kinds of attachments of sanding and cutting and drilling and whatever so this is perfect to get into like between the antlers and everywhere i like to round when i shape my ear i like to round these sharp edges to give it a little bit more 3d and smooth and round So our reindeers are all sanded. Yours really, looks really cute. I really like the two tones. Me too. It's a little bit. All right. For the finish, I will be using Adi's oil, one of my new favorites. I'll leave a link of this one in the description below. And Sandrine, she is going to use Osmo. Yep. Have yes. you ever used this, Sandrine? I have never used it. So I'm I think you would love it. It's uh, definitely it. very, very, very easy to use. Okay. So first, we need to give it a good stir. I had a baby deer and his mama in my backyard this morning. Oh, you did? Yeah. And I felt so bad because uh, they were coming for my fruit trees. Yeah. Oh, okay. And they were getting really close to the fence and I have an electric fence, but I don't have it on during the day, just at night for the deer. Right. And uh, they were getting too close to the fence. They were looking at my tree, so I turned on the fence for them not to go in it. Well, I didn't realize the little one was already in the orchard. Oh. So I trapped it in there and I couldn't get out. So I turned off the fence and then it jumped off. Oh. Pull in the to little detail. Very cute. <laughs> All right. There you go. Oh, you're so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> 